last last session, lad, before the weight cut tomorrow. <coughs> so get this last session in. Go and chill tonight, have a nice sleep tonight, hopefully. Tomorrow I'll have my last litre of water, a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of lunch, and then that's me. Just gonna have a little move around, a little bit of pads. It's one of them things that you say all the time, well, it's the best he's ever looked going into this fight. You can feel the difference in his strength, in his grappling and his striking. I feel it when he's hitting on the pads, when he's kicking me in the legs, I can feel it when he's hitting me in the body pad. I can feel it right through the body pad, he's hitting super hard. Looking so, so focused. One of the most confident people I've ever met. And he knows his ability and he really, really believes in himself. That's a big thing to believe in yourself. Paddy, under the pressure, the big fights, the big names, that's where he's, he's his best. Like, some people are good in the gym and don't turn up fight night. Paddy turns up fight night, and that's, like, a very big problem for the rest of the division. Yeah. I was supposed to get here yesterday. <laughs> they said we got here the next day, a little bit later, but it's all good. Nice to meet you, brother. From Hawaii, big fan, bro. Thank you very yeah. much for watching, brother. Too, God bless you, brother. Thank you. We're about to go to the apex and do my obligations and do my due diligence. Well, all that opponent getting switched and stuff, I can't really control. All I can control is my attitude and willingness to fight, and um, I'm ready to do that. So. I feel very well prepared. I think Ely is good, and I think it'll be a great win for me because it proves how great I am, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, with both of them being um, undefeated, really make this an interesting fight. Obviously, nobody wants a loss on their record, but uh, somebody's gonna receive one. Poor baby. It's been a while. How you doing, my love? Doing How great. you feeling? Good to see you. I'm doing great. You Could have been right? worse. But on that first plane, they said it smelled like something burning. Hey, what's up, guys? So everybody's mad about this plane because it smelled like something burning. I said, well, hell, I'm well, glad they told yeah. us. <laughs> Get me off of there. I'd know. Yeah. Look at these shorts. I think it's a different trim, too, like a different brown, like gold. Yeah, I love that, that camo. For Jan, taking back this belt, it's uh, something more than, than money, you know. He can be paid one dollar, he can be paid, you know, ten million dollars. It's not about money, you know. This is something about proving himself that he is the best, that he made a huge mistake and that was only a mistake, but thanks to that mistake he learned a lot and he wants to prove himself, you know, that he is the best in the whole world. The most important thing, you know, if you want to reach, achieve that goal, just go for it. And this is what I admire with Jan for the whole his professional career, you know, that he never let down. Let's go. One day my picture has to be here on this wall. начинали в 2012 году уже перешли по союзу ММА. Как столько любительские были, много много турниров подрались там. Большой опыт там прошли по союзу ММА. Уже оттуда он начал уже набирать ударку. Уже заслуженный мастер спорта. Он два раза мир выиграл, получается, и ему дали заслуженного мастера спорта. Ну, после греко-римской борьбы я перешел на боевые искусства и начал себя хорошо показывать там. Потом я попал к тренеру Сухабу Магомедову. И, и у меня с ним уже, мы уже почти 10 лет вместе. Он сам хороший тайский боксер. И мы с ним долгое время работаем, оттачиваем все моменты. Раз, два.
my buddy uh, Bryce Mitchell, man. We've uh, we've been at this for over a decade now, you know. It's crazy, you know, to see really how far we've come. You know, we fought in uh, the Little Rock uh, Metroplex, and now we're fighting in uh, T-Mobile Arena. You know, it's really a dream come true, man. <laughs> I'm excited to finally be on a card with TJ. I do like going to TJ's fights when I'm not fighting, though, because I can eat and just run around and do whatever, you know? Well, as you see, man, we've got our uh, lifetime coaches with us, Rolly and Willie, eating some great food while we starve to death uh, the day before weigh-ins. Oh, oh. Seriously, it's so tender. It's got a little chew to it, but good. <laughs> We're suffering together. <laughs> I, I couldn't thank either of these guys enough, you know. Uh, I, I think they're more than coaches to both of us. They're almost like, like fathers, you know. So I'm thankful for both of them. It, as mean as they may be sometimes, uh, I know they love us. Have you sent the menu for the food for that off you game, yeah? Um, so they're going to do, there's no menu, but there's going to be a similar menu to what we had on Sunday. Just all the shit when we're there, then, eh? All the stuff that was there, yeah. And they're good. Well, there's three cars or something. Uh, if room gets in the front, you used, you used to get in them two seats, get in one of the other cars, if Lord and Ellie get with me. Paddy, is, we got confirmation that Paddy has won the Breakthrough Fighter of the Year for the Fighters Only World MMA Awards. I knew I was going to win that, without being a big head of d you know what I mean? I was always going to win that Breakthrough Fighter of the Year, they didn't even need to do a vote. Yeah, let's go, Paddy. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out today, we really appreciate it. Who's got the first question? Question for Patty Finley, actually. You have your first co-main event on a big pay-per-view here to end the year. So what do you have that Jared has not faced in the octagon? I've got weird striking, weird wrestling, and weird jujitsu. I'm a little weird, though. So he's fought Charles, and Charles finished him in the first. So I aspire to be champion one day. So I need to do the same thing. Back in the mouth, please loudly, loudly shut up. If not, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna crash your face right here. Do it then, you little you have another question? Do it. Do it then, you little Do something, stand up. What will you do? You'll do nothing. You'll do nothing, you little fart. Go and sit back down. Sit back down, you little Ah! <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't know what the hell just happened here, but... Question for Darren. Darren, first of all, yeah. is it weird being the second loudest mouth Englishman on stage? <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit weird that I'm not beefing. I'm usually the one beefing. <laughs> I've, I've calmed down a bit. One final question for Chris yeah. Mitchell in the back. Do you think Illy's making a mistake focusing on Patty when he has his youth standing across him in the octagon? I don't care what he focuses on, brother. All I know is I'm showing up to whoop ass. Thanks for coming out, everybody. I don't even use moisturizer either. <laughs> Good luck. You know that fella. Yeah. Awesome, you too. Good luck. Thank you.